top three mistakes most women make when it comes to building a butt. This is an easy one. Most women do not use <laughs> Welcome, we're gonna share the six best tips to grow your booty naturally with just exercise. And it's gonna be like interview style. I'm gonna be on the other side of the table interviewing Jessica because she is the booty build about queen. So I'm gonna head over there and let's get into the interview and we'll try to keep it fun, okay? Okay, let's do it. Let's make the first question a fun one. You realize you're wearing the mic. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, so if you're new to the channel, Jessica Guthrow is a certified fitness professional, a mom of two young kids and a head turner, and she's also my wife. She has beautiful brown eyes, a stunning smile, and her legs are for days, people. But let's keep it real, all the guys and girls turn their heads because of her butt. Jessica's goal is to cut through the conventional BS and spread the truth about the correct way for women to build a butt. This interview with Jessica will, without a doubt, Open your eyes to all the wrong things you're currently doing and inspire you to follow the correct path to build the butt of your dreams faster. Jessica, welcome. Okay, so let's make the first question a fun one. In your opinion, which celebrity has the best butt? I'd have to say I give my Build a Butt award to either Jennifer Lopez or Jessica Biel. They're both fierce women who obviously aren't afraid to work hard and get sweaty during their workouts. The results obviously show for themselves, so nice work, ladies. Agreed. Nice buns, ladies. There's just something about ladies with great butts with the names that start with J. <laughs> Okay, moving on. What are the top three mistakes most women make when it comes to building a butt? This is an easy one. Most women do not use enough weight when they're training. They're afraid to get bulky, so they keep it light. So let me set the record straight once and for all. Ladies, you will not get bulky when working out with weight. Your body just doesn't produce enough testosterone. The number two thing is that women are usually afraid to work all the way to failure in their workouts. They'll give up midway through the set, their mind giving up before their body has actually reached its maximum. So in other words, they're staying in the comfort zone, trying to keep everything everything easy. So you're limiting growth in all areas of your life, but especially in your butt. The results are going to come when you get out of your comfort zone. My third thing has to do with a lot of women who shy away from more difficult exercises that hurt. So of course these exercises are going to provide you with the biggest bang for your buck. And I promise you, whoever you look up to when it comes to having a great butt, they didn't get it without doing those difficult exercises. Like for example, women who are afraid to do squats, deadlifts, and lunges are are more likely to be okay with doing things like glute kicks or like working with a booty band, but those difficult ones, like I mentioned, the squats, the lunges, the deadlifts, those are the ones that are actually gonna give you more bang for your buck. So when it comes to glute draining, go for those proven exercises, even though they're hard, they're gonna be the ones that show you the most results. Speaking of those difficult exercises, if you could pick just two moves to build a JLo or Jessica Biel booty, which two would you recommend and why? <laughs> How about squats and more squats? And I am serious, nothing will incorporate all your major muscle fibers of the butt and legs better than squats. I find that most women with a flat booty are afraid to get in the squat rack. And I know the thought of a barbell in the squat rack is intimidating, but there are so many different versions of squats. You can start slowly and build up. And once you get stronger, you'll build that confidence to get in the squat rack. And I really feel like that is gonna make the majority of difference for you. All right, great advice. I've said it before, there's nothing sexier that turns my head quicker than seeing a female in the squat rack. Damn, that's good. Okay, so how do you respond to women who say having a butt is all about genetics? So you either have it or you don't. That is definitely not true. I honestly feel like my genetics are not necessarily there for having a great voluptuous butt. And I would say to you to look at all the female athletes in the world. They all have great tight tone lifted butts and it would be impossible for them all to have the same genetics. There is not one genetic butt code. Anyone can develop a great butt with discipline and with following the right program. All right, let's keep this going. What is the one thing you see women doing in the gym that in reality is a big waste of their time and effort? What comes to mind is like isolation machines, like the abductor, adductor machines, spending too much time on cardio, not enough time on strength building exercises. It's not that isolation exercises are bad, 
but they're just not necessary until after you've done the primary stuff first. So I feel like a lot of women will just go straight to those before doing any sort of compound exercises first. If I were your trainer, I would have you doing that stuff just a small percentage of the time, but spending most of your time on the bigger compound exercises. I would say a lot of women just spend too much time on the little stuff and then also um, too many reps and the sets are not hard enough. Spending too much time with not enough intense passion and effort. Another thing I find is a major waste of time that women do in the gym is to spend way too much time on cardio and specifically being really sloppy about it. Just getting on the Stairmaster, getting on the treadmill and spending a ton of time, like an hour or maybe even more, thinking that the answer to a nicer booty is gonna be fat loss, when in reality, most women need to build muscle in that area to really see the shape and development that they want there. So I would recommend getting off of that cardio machine, especially if you're doing it in a sloppy way, and getting onto the strength training. It doesn't need to be with weights, but it definitely needs to be the right exercises. So true, get what you give, I like it. So here's my last question for you. Can cardio help build a butt? If so, what type of cardio do you recommend? Yeah, absolutely. Cardio can help build your butt, but it definitely needs to be the right type, not the slow born kind that so many women are doing. You need to bump up the intensity, get out of your comfort zone. The best kind of cardio for your butt is like stair workouts or sprints. Anything where your knee bends to a 90 degree angle and actually stretches your glutes. You gotta use those glutes if you want them to salute. So keep your cardio short and intense and make sure that your legs are actually working in a full range of motion, not a little like baby steps. You gotta go all the way. Thank you so much for sharing all of these butt building tips with the Live Leaners, Jessica. You are a beauty, I love you. You're not so bad yourself, Brad. Love our Live Lean message and all the Live Leaners transforming their lives. It's been incredible to see the booties transforming right in front of us. And it's just the best feeling in the world when someone shows me their results from following my programs. Every time, it's a higher, tighter, rounder, and more lifted, more beautiful booty. So that right there is proof that what I'm talking about works. So I have three great booty training programs you can follow. The first one, Original build a -Butt, is called BAB. This is a six week program that is body weight only, home friendly workouts. So it has photos of every exercise and descriptions of the workouts you can follow via the PDFs. The second one I created is called BABX or Build a Butt Extreme. This takes it to the next level, utilizing gym equipment and doing heavier lifts. There are video demos for every single exercise and you can also follow via the PDFs. The third one I created is called Build a Butt 2 or BAB2, and this one is a follow along body weight only program. So it's similar to the original BAB using no equipment, but I'm there with you every single rep and you play the video and follow along with me. So they're all three are great programs, whether you wanna use equipment or not use equipment, there are options for you and you will really see a dramatic booty transformation regardless of which one you follow. They're all awesome and I've done them all. So if you're ready to start your booty training journey, we're giving you a 30% off disc code exclusive for watching this video. You can use the code BAB30 on any one of those BAB programs. So enjoy the discount and the booty training. If you have any questions about which of those programs is the right fit for you, you can let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and keep, and keep Living lean. Building your boots. And gluten those, gluten those salutes. <laughs> Sal saluting those Saluting glutes. the glutes. Cuddly. How should I end it? Keep saluting those glutes. Keep saluting those glutes, baby. I don't know how that's going to turn out. I was trying to be like funny. like not Today's question of the day, which tips are you going to implement into your next workout? And in your opinion, which celebrity has the best butt? Now, if you want to see one of Jessica's follow along 30 minute build a butt 2.0 workouts, we uploaded one for free. You can go check it out over here.